Hello, and welcome to my rifle case neck annealing workstation. As a shooter, you may be aware of the benefits of case neck annealing. As case necks become work hardened due to repeated firing and resizing, it is reported that annealing effectively extends case life. Therefore, within any batch of fired cases, you, you may find variations in neck hardness. This variation in hardness contributes to variations in bullet pull. So proper annealing reduces the variation and improves the uniformity of bullet pull, which therefore can improve accuracy. On my annealing workstation, you'll notice a number of items. Here in the housing, we have a propane tank with a nozzle fitted and a secure clasp for safety. Within this housing, we have a power drill with a case holder already attached. Here, we have my rifle brass that I will be annealing today. And I will be using the Hornady annealing kit, which I find very useful. This comes with the Tempelac temperature indicating liquid and three case holders. Two here and one already here. For these are for a different sizes of rifle case. So the one that I have here attached is for the 6.5 by 55. It'll fit nice and neatly. As so. And these are for a larger caliber and a smaller caliber. I also have my trusty mobile phone, which has an app for a timer. I could have a clock, but this is pretty handy and small. The reason that I want to have a timer is so that I, I want to be able to indicate how long it actually takes for the Tempelac temperature indicating liquid to dissolve during the annealing process. So therefore I can build up a time and an estimate of how long it takes to anneal. So therefore when the Tempelac is finished, I can re anneal brass quickly by knowing that it's going to take either 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds to anneal one case at a time. Also, when I want, once the cases are annealed and through the heat, I want to be able to remove them and put them into a pan of cold water. So that stops the heat traveling down to the case head, which could be very dangerous and lead to case neck, sep case head separation, or it could actually be more dangerous that could explode in your gun and cause damage to you and your right firearm. So quenching it in the water will take the heat away from dispersing and, re and continuing to the case head. So here I have a pan of water, it's just an old tin from Christmas time with sweets and I also have a sieve. You may wonder why I have a sieve but the reason is when I tip the rifle case into the water I don't have to go fishing in the water when I'm finished. I can just do it, up, take it up, shake them all off and my cases will be contained in here so I can tip them out to get them dry. So they can be dried with either a hair dryer, maybe pressure, pressurized air, or just dry in room temperature, sitting upside down, like turned upside down, like this. So my next step will be to take you through the case annealing process using the Hornady annealing kit. Our first step in case neck annealing is to mark the case with the Tempelac temperature indicating liquid. So we take our case, just remove a little of the liquid onto the little brush and the instructions from Hornady tell us to mark the case just about a quarter of an inch below the shoulder. So we're just going to put on a fine layer of the temperature indicating liquid. Do one case at the moment. So you may see the white is almost like a tip X or mark out across the complete circumference of the case. So we'll replace the case into the holder. We will I'm going to begin to rotate the drill head so that we have it turning 
because I want to be able to get a continuous heat and uniformity heat of the whole case neck. The flame will should center onto the, the middle of the case neck. The heat will then travel down through to the case, melting this indicating liquid, turning it into an almost invisible. It may leave a small bit of residue which can be cleaned off after. But once that completes, that's when I want to remove the case from the holder and into the pan. You may say, how will I remove the case when the flame is coming on? This is the genius of this casinating work center. Here, you may wonder why I have a handle. This handle, which is just from a brass door handle from a home, is attached to the housing, and this housing will now allow me to tip through a hinge built in here into the water. So if I take this housing, I'll show you now, just tip it down, that'll drop the case into the water. You can see here the hinge. And then when I'm replacing it, I return a, a brand new case into the case holder, tip it into the flame, check that the cable as it rotates, watch the indicating liquid as it disappears, and then tip another case out. And at the same time, I also want to check what time it takes. Is it 15 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds to nail each case? So I don't have to continue using the temple act for every case, so it'll speed up case annealing. So let's begin. We'll mark two cases. So now, actually, we'll let's go and we'll mark mark the five cases, and we'll get the five done in one go. It'll give me a good average of time. So I'm just marking the cases, full circumference, just about an inch, or sorry, pardon me, quarter of an inch below the case shoulder. Because as I said before, you do not want the heat to travel, continue traveling down into the case head, as that could be fatal, not only for your rifle, but mainly for yourself, and cause a lot of injury. So here I have this screw that is built, that actually turns into the drill, and allows me to reduce and increase the speed of the, the drill itself. So that's a low speed. I can drop a case into the case holder. The case will rotate and now I want to light my flame. I have my trusty lighter. Release some gas. Get the blue flame into the middle of the case neck and watch the flame and the Indicating liquid as it turns into an invisible, almost disappears and melts off. And that will show me that it's disappeared. So now I can tip the cartridge in to the water. Replace the second cartridge. I just want to start my timer as I bring it into the flame. Always watching the case, checking that the indicating liquid melts off. Then it would come from white to invisible. Just watching the clock. We're up at 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and tip. You hear that send with the water cooling it down. Replace a third cartridge. Bring the case into the flame. Watch it rotate. You 
see it rotating, you can see the the white temple act disappearing as before and tip. Bring in the okay, I'll just stop it here at the moment. So you can see I'll just take off the gas. You can actually Okay. And we'll switch off the drill. And just replace the cap on this. Just avoid any accidents. So now I just want to show you the three cases that we've done. So for the ease of use, I have my little sieve. I can just lift it up, shake off the excess water. So I don't have to get my hands wet going fishing into the, the tin. Take them out. I have a tissue, I can plate them on. Just leave them here, we can dry it around. Place the sieve into the water can. Give them a little run with my fingers. And there we have three annealed rifle cases. I'll just stop my little clock. So we took on average between 17 and 20 seconds to anneal each case. So if I go for maybe a 17, 18 second average. That should be adequate and it, it avoids the heat running down into the case head. These are, because these have been dipped into water, these there's these are cold now, there, there's no heat traveling in here, there's no heat within the case at all. You may see some residue from the temple lag here, but that can be easily removed with a small, very fine 000 steel wool what I can do is I can put them, chuck them into the, the drill itself with my Lee case holder, let the drill rotate and just have the steel wool and as the case turns, the steel wool will clean this off and it actually brightens up the case and takes off any of the dark tinge from the kneading if you like, if you really like your shiny cases. I always like my cases to be shiny. I could put them into the tumbler, my my Turbo Pro tumbler and that will case clean it up also but the 000 steel wool is really very fine and it'll just remove those little hard marks off your case because you don't want to put this into your chamber of your rifle and expand and have these marks on it because that could affect the chamber of your rifle and that wouldn't be very helpful to you so there's three cases annealed I can continue and do the next two and mark the rest of them and do the rest. I hope you enjoyed the case annealing and I'll give you some ideas of how this little setup works.